one of the ways that you can get more views on your YouTube videos is by having a great thumbnail. My name is Eileen Smith, and today we're going to talk about YouTube thumbnails as I walk you through the process that I use to do my thumbnails, and let's get started. And I see that someone is in the chat, somebody's here live, so I always like to stop and recognize folks when they're live. And we have Kim Wendy in the house. What's up, Kim? How you doing? Thanks so much for coming. Okay, in this YouTube thumbnail tutorial, I wanna show you the process that I use. And hopefully you'll be able to glean something from this process. I was very fortunate to have Nick Nimmin, who is a YouTube guru, join me for one of my live streams a couple months ago. And also he did a quick channel review for, for me when I went on one of his live streams. And he actually said, my thumbnails look good. He gave me the thumbs up and he thought that my thumbnails were pretty good and that I'm at least following some of the core principles that we need to pay attention to in order to have good thumbnails. So now what would that be? First, you want your thumbnail to be attractive. You want it to be clickable. You want an image in your thumbnail that is going to attract readers or, or viewers so that when they search for something on YouTube, you want them to know that your video is the one that's going to deliver on that promise of whatever it was that you have as the title of your video and that you're going to give them something that's really engaging and really educational and that is going to offer them even some entertainment or you know it's going to be informative for them in some way so let's check in We have Carlin here. We have the lovely kid Japan here and Katie. Hi, honey. I saw your new uh, Facebook profile pic and I just want you to know you're looking good, girl. And we're in, yes, we are in YouTube church today. Christy, which is Lambie Poo and Walter. Good morning. Yes, we have a, 10 more minutes of morning here in uh, Eastern time zone. <laughs> And uh, Katie says it's her first stop after church. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Oh, and what's the 411? What's up? Good morning. What's the 411 TV? Let me get it straight now. All right, guys. You guys know the routine, but just in case you don't always go over and click on those little three dots next to someone's comment. Cynthia Dixon in the house. And then you can go and click on the go to channel and then you can connect with each other because this is all about community. We have to support each other. So the my process that I use for YouTube thumbnails, well, some of you, especially if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that one of the things that I love to do as a woman is get my hair done. And I typically get it done every other week. And that's my super cute Saturday, hashtag super cute Saturday. <laughs> and even on a week like this week, which was not super cute week. And okay. Uh, I still did my hair and this is important guys. And this is not just for the ladies, you know, guys, spruce yourself up. Maybe you need to take a shave. Maybe you just need to brush your teeth. Look presentable. You want to try to look your best. And I know sometimes you might just get lazy and say, nah, I'm just going to go on and do this YouTube video. But I think that you'll feel better about yourself during the course of the video if you are looking 
at least presentable. Okay. Can I get an amen on that? Because I I know the ladies agree with me on that. Okay. And I also like to get my nails done. Now we're talking about thumbnails, but there's a reason why I'm saying this. And what I'm going to do, Larry Snow in the house. Hey, Larry. Before I do that, let me just make sure I give all my peeps their props. And uh, they're also, Katie said, picture from 09, but I look the same. Okay, yes. <laughs> Walter, it's a great morning. I found a picture of myself with my late mother. I thought I lost, oh, that is so beautiful. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers here. And Larry is definitely one. And Katie and Larry, they've already connected with each other. So they're saying hi. And uh, and Cynthia, you getting a shout out that you got a nice header on your YouTube that lets me know that Carlin is doing what I always suggest. And she's probably that type of person anyway. And that is to make sure you click those three dots and go and check each other's channels out. But make sure you come back. Okay. So yeah. And let me say it one more time, just in case happy father's day, 2017. Okay. So, so get your hair done or get yourself fixed up because the next thing that you're going to do, and uh, I like to include a picture of myself on my YouTube thumbnails. Now, there's a little controversies about this. Some people don't want to put their own picture or they don't want to put any picture. Maybe they'll use a stock image. I think that's perfectly fine as long as you're not just trying to, you know, put something that misrepresents your video. That's very, very important. Your thumbnail needs to be relevant to what it is you're talking about. So you're not going to put a picture of a uh, I'll, I'll do something generic. You're not going to put a picture of a crying baby, even though crying babies are adorable. If the video has nothing to do with crying babies. Okay. Cause that's kind of misleading. All right. But y'all know, I don't really mean crying babies. I mean something else. <laughs> All right. So let's get to it. I want to screen share with you. What I do once I do my hair or whatever, every now and then I put on makeup. I don't always, I did a little bit today, but I actually shared this with my patrons over on Patreon, but I'm not going to show you everything I shared them, but I am going to take you a little bit behind the scenes and show you my setup. So yes, it's um, a little urban. I won't use the word ghetto. I'll say it's urban. <laughs> my urban studio, which is my kitchen, one of the best rooms in the house, the only one that's been remodeled, which I actually have one of those little folding snack tables. You can see the legs of it there. Sorry, my uh, sharing buttons come are popping up. This is a box for um, a Diva Light, which I have not yet put up, but the box that it came in is great because I needed a couple extra inches lift on my tripod. This is a $12 tripod. If you ever want to know any of the gear I use, you can go to EileenSmith.com slash gear and you'll see this $12 tripod and it has expandable legs. So if I expand it all the way, it's a little bit too high, but if I expand it just with two of the legs expanded, that's perfect, except I need a couple more inches, which is hence the box. And then I stand over here in front of this white wall. And you see, I have this little light that I got from Tarjay's, one of my favorites. This light, I think it costs e anywhere between nine and $12. I'm not hundred percent sure. And I stand there with my trusty iPhone. my iPhone, of course, in the tripod. And I actually use, I'm standing there. You'll see in a minute, cause I'm going to show you, I just did it a couple minutes ago and I'm going to show you what I did. And I use my earbuds and you know, uh, I said this to somebody the other day and they didn't know you could do that. And when you click this, it'll take the picture. So I have the camera mounted in the tripod. And I just stand there and I'm posing and I'm taking pictures. Okay. 
I'm not trying to be vain guys. I'm just wants to show you my process. So that's what's coming next. Hang on. Let me get this screen share ready. So if you're like me and you get pictures taken and I know people that I don't like my picture taken, take a whole bunch of them. If you take about a hundred pictures, one of them is going to look halfway decent. <laughs> Okay, so and I also want to prepare for possible future topics. So see how I have my hand, like maybe I want to Photoshop something into my hand here one day. And then also I do the series on social media secrets. So here I'm, you know, like shushing people, right? Like I'm getting ready to share a secret. So even though that's not what I'm talking about today, I may want to use one of these. So I just keep clicking away, clicking away until you see, I must've taken what 50 pictures. Oh, there's Mr. Rodney's garden. We're not going to go into that today though, but oh, here's another one where I decided, oh, maybe one day I'll do something with two tips. So I held up two fingers right? Then you don't always want to smile, right? So this one, I decided I'll make a mean face just in case I'm mad at, I don't know, Facebook or something. Who knows what may come down the road, but I'll just take a bunch of pictures. It's the process of batching. Now I want to see who's over here laughing at me. <laughs> so I know y'all laughing at me taking all those funny pictures. Let me see what you're saying. Okay. Uh, oh, you guys aren't laughing at me too bad. Let me see. Um, okay. So we, yes, Walter found this picture of his mom, rest in peace, mom and Cynthia. Okay. And then Kim is saying just hello to everybody. And uh, Cynthia is really glad that, that Carlin likes her header and you're looking for a tripod. Okay. Walter. Yes. Go over to EileenSmith.com slash gear. Um, Larry, if you don't mind, if you could type that in, that would be fantastic. And uh, Katie says, I'm going to use a picture from a video shoot, intentionally pose when done filming and erase background to include in thumbnail. Katie, that's the next step we're going. You, you're jumping ahead, baby, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, because you're smart. You're on the ball. And uh, Kim says she thinks it's a great idea. Yay. And how do I get a plain white background? I painted the wall white. Actually, Walter, I didn't paint that wall in the kitchen. I had my kitchen redone last year. If you never saw those pictures, you'll I'll post them up somewhere or I'll make sure you get to see them. And that's what happened. The contractors painted that wall white. But with some of the leftover paint, I painted this wall white. And you're probably saying, but that wall's not white, it's tinted. No, I use an app called Webcam Settings, and that puts that little orangish tint over top of me because I just like this coloration. And maybe before this video is over, I'll turn it off so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so like I said, Katie jumped ahead, and that's because she's so smart. And oh, hey, Jan. Oh, good, Jan. I'm so, Jan, I owe you another email, but girl, we got to get together. <laughs> I just want to let you know that. So Jan is in Scotland and, and thanks again, Jan, for becoming a patron. And she wants to make sure like, she's not sure the time that me and her can get together. So just so you know, for me right now, I'm not sure what time it is for you, Jan, but you can type in the chat for me. It is 12 noon. Actually it's 12 one PM. So you type in the chat and tell me what time it is for you. And then we'll try to work from there. And Katie saying her new tripod is one she won from Archon Mounts in May and that their products are so heavy duty. Yes, uh, I've heard about Archon Mounts. A lot of folks use them. My tripod is very lightweight and it's, you know, the Archon Mounts are fantastic. And I wish that they had the Archon Mounts the newer ones on Amazon. Cause that's where I get all my gear from. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't, they don't have them on Amazon. <laughs> and, uh, I want to give a shout out to Matthew cause this is my first time seeing Matthew or maybe it's been a while. Hey, Matthew, how are you? Okay. So the next 
step in the process, right? We're making this thumbnail. We're creating this engaging thumbnail with a great image. Okay. That's how we're going to start with a great image. And Katie alluded to it earlier about, uh, removing the background. Now I'm going to show you this tool that I use. Honestly, guys, you can use so many different tools out there. This just so happens to be the one I like to use. Okay. So let's go over there and let me show you that. Make sure I click on the right thing. Okay. It's called clipping magic clippingmagic.com and actually clipping magic costs three dollars a month and that's okay and i have photoshop you're going to see photoshop later on but for me this tool works incredibly well for me taking out the background and i'll just show you here's some of the examples and also is saving it on the internet so even if i'm not at home where i download these onto my computer i can come in here and grab them and i take out the backgrounds even on the logos of the different tools that i've used okay so here you'll see you know and i've just got pages and pages i'm just comfortable using this tool i'm sure there's other tools that i can use and let me just actually click on one because you're just seeing a little bit of a snapshot of one okay so i'm actually going to show you the process this is a completed one but let's just go through and i'm going to show you the process all right so we're going to all those images that I downloaded or at one, those images that I took this morning. I picked the one that I wanted. I opened up Google Photos because I actually don't use the iCloud. Even though I have an iPhone, I like Google Photos. That's just my thing. I uh, downloaded it to my computer, opened up Google Photos on my computer and downloaded it to my computer. Okay. So the next step is to upload it into Clipping Magic. So let me show you that process. And you know, guys, tweak this process as you go with the tools that you want. But my point here is that to have that image and there's also been a lot of studies saying that having your eyes or making that eye contact and the thumbnail. So this was the image that I decided that I'm, I'm actually going to use for this video. Okay. So what I want to do here is all the things that I want to keep. I'm going to make them green. Right. Then all I have to do is press the space bar. Uh, sometimes the hair, for me, the hair is always a, an issue. Okay. So sometimes I actually lop off pieces of hair just to get the thumbnail done. All right. So now I just hit the space bar and it turns red. So now it's going to take out. Right. So see in here is not, not really sure if it should take out or not. Here's a place that it's not really sure. So down here, it missed this. So let's get that. All right. So now in here is inside of my earring. Okay. It's up to me. Do I want to leave that in there or take it out? I usually take it out. So how do I do that? I can change the size of the brush. Oh, let me close this. Okay. Change the size of the brush you down at the bottom left here. I can change it from 20 pixels to 10 or five, or I can just use the minus sign to make it whatever, but I'll just go for five just to like get this over with and just go in there and just do that. And actually I might come back and take some of this out here, but we're not going to do all that right now. We're just going to, I just wanted you to see how it works. I want you guys to see my process. Okay. I'm taking you behind the scenes and showing you how I really do this. So now I have a folder and actually the folder that I keep it in is called Eileen cutouts. <laughs> all right. That's just how creative I am. All right. Let's see if uh, we got any more comments to come in while I was doing that. Let's see here. Um, okay. Oh, Katie's over here telling us 
all the good stuff she's involved in. And she's saying that, uh, oh, it's five. Okay. Jan is saying it's 5 PM. So if it's 12 PM and it's 5 PM for you, that means that we are five hours apart. So we can go for there. Let's just make a mental note, Jan. <laughs> and Katie saying her degree is in video production, been interested since she was a kid. Oh, and that's why you're so good at it, Katie. And nice Katie doing videos on writing tips. Any suggestions? Hmm. All right. Walter's getting a little consultation going on over there in the chat. You go, Walter. Okay. What are you using this for? Kim, I think you're talking to me and I'm going to actually use this for the thumbnail for this very video. Not saying that I won't change it later, but this is what I'm going to do now. And Katie says, I started with CM now trying to get pick monkey. Okay. Uh, CM, I'm not sure. I think you meant Canva. Cause I know you talked about Canva Tr now trying to get pick monkey free figured out so I can cancel my subscription. Okay. Canva for work. I do believe that's what you mean. And Matthew saying he subscribed. Thank you, Matthew. And remember guys, uh, Matthew, and you weren't here when I said it earlier, click the three dots next to the comments so you can connect with other people here. All right. So you guys follow Matthew and uh, Kim is using GIMP to do her cutouts. Yes, there's so many different tools that we can use guys. But my, my point here is, this is my technique for doing the thumbnail. Some people don't even cut out the background. They include the background. They could just, I could just do this could be my thumbnail. Well, with the glasses off, right? <laughs> this could be my thumbnail and I'd have all this space over here for my text. I could do it that way. This is just the way that I'm doing it right now. And I probably did lots of videos back in the day where, where I just used a blank space on the wall or, or next to me, wherever I was at, as the area where I would add my text. Okay. So let me show you really quickly what I do. I'm actually uh, going to open up Photoshop. I, I hope I have it opened already. That would make sense. No, nope, I don't. Oh, I do, but I don't think... Um, Hangouts is showing that to me as an option of one of the windows that I can share. Hang on, maybe I did it wrong. Let's just try it one more time, guys. There it is. I thought so. Okay, so this template is one that I've been using for a really long time. In fact, you can even see my hair is a different color. Like this has to be... Uh, two to three years old template. And it's not one that I use that often now, but just letting you in on the idea that work with a template, this will make it easier for you. Remember you batched all those images, right? You took all those images. So you've got all those choices of images. So now having a template is going to make that easy for you because you're just going to substitute and change the words around on the template and uh, maybe the colors. And so let's let's get started. I'm going to hide this image because I'm not going to use that one. I sure told you what I'm going to do. And in Photoshop, the way I would do it is place embedded. Go in here, grab that uh, Eileen's cutout one that I just did. Place that there. Um, place it. Move her over. I may not even want all of that on there. We'll see and see how around here, the hair, I should have took that hair out, but that's okay. For the sake of time, we're not going to fix that right now. There's a couple things I can do to change that. And I'm not really trying to do a full blown Photoshop tutorial, but I just want you to see what I'm going to do here is to change the color. And I'm not sure if you see in this screen pop up or not. Um, you're probably not. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to change the color. I'm going to leave the color as is. But what I will do, of course, is change the text. So I'm going to change this to thumbnail tutorial. 
have to do is remember how to spell it. And I'm going to make that tight ball centered. I'm going to move things around. Don't worry. I know it looks a little messy right now. Okay. I'm going to take the YouTube logo and move it up. And I'll probably make it bigger. I don't need the word video here, right? I think I spelled tutorial right. You guys let me know if I didn't. All right, I'm going to make the YouTube logo bigger. And I probably will come in here and put a different YouTube logo in here. I'm not really sure I'm fond of that one. In this case, for, since we're on Photoshop, it's called Free Transform. You take that. I always hold the shift key down so as to not mess with the... Uh, the aspect ratio. Oh, that was a hard word to try to remember when you're doing to when you're multitasking. Or what I could do, here's what I'll do, guys. Since I don't like the way that hair is, and I'm not going to change the color, but what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to flip things around because that's where I won't see as much of my hair in the background. And then I'm going to move those things over. So see how, because this is on the lighter part of the background, you don't see all that fuzziness around my hair. And I'm not even sure I like this image, but that's okay. We're just going to go with it for right now. So I'm just going to save it. Now, if this is a Photoshop file, of course, you can't upload that to YouTube. I'm going to save as, and I'll save this. And I have a separate folder for my Photoshop files and my PNG files. And I don't want to forget to mention that the image size is 1280 by 720. I see that Blog Aid has entered the building. What's up, Mayanna? <laughs> All right. So, right. That gives you guys an idea of the process that I use. And Block A says, what a cool tool, Eileen. Okay, thanks. I think you were talking about the clipping magic. Um, oh, geez. Wait, my, my mouse got a little funky on me. Okay, and then Kim is saying hi. And Owen, video in the hills. High five, my friend. <laughs> okay, so now. A couple other things that I want to mention to you about that thumbnail, all right? You want to use bold or maybe a better word is chunky text. I even have a couple videos that have the little cutesy handwritten fonts. They don't really look that great. I got to be honest with you, <laughs> you know, but the bold text that can be read. Remember guys, people are seeing it on their phones and everybody don't have the six plus, the, the big mega chumpy, right? Some people are on the little, you know, smaller phones. And so, especially if they got tired old eyes, they can't read your thumbnail because you want to use this cutesy font. Don't worry about the branding that you had on your website. You need a text font that is chunky and bold and easy to read because guess what? Your video is going to be shown next to a whole bunch of other people. And if somebody can read your competition's thumbnail, but they can't read yours, they're not even really sure your video is about what it is that they were searching for, they're not going to click on yours. You got to make yours clickable. That's all. Nothing personal. <laughs> okay. So yes, C Clipping Magic is a website saying no download require internet tool. Right. Clippingmagic.com is a website, Kim, and it costs $3 a month. That's the only problem about Clipping Magic. It is a monthly fee. It's not a one-time pay. So it's okay. PicMonkey has ways that you can erase out the background. GIMP, Pixlr, uh, you can't do that in Canva. Um, there's a whole bunch. Of, oh, I even saw somebody using an app on their phone called Eraser or something like that. You don't have to use Clipping Magic. I just like Clipping Magic. I'm showing you my process. Of course, there's a million ways you can take that background out and also... You don't have to take 
the background out. Remember, guys, like I said, I could have this text right here on this. I could use this. I could take a screenshot right now. Right? I could take this screenshot. If you're on Mac, is Control Shift 4. Take the screenshot and then write my text right here. And make sure that I resize it to 1280 by 720 because I don't know what size I got this window at right now. And we just want to make sure that it fills the frame on YouTube. And so that final size, and some people may say 1920, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's 1280 by 720, it could even be 640 by whatever that other <laughs> dimension is. I just use 1280 by 720. And remember, I'm telling y'all how I do things, okay? If anybody wants to come up in here with me, I have, I'm connected with so many of you guys here on Facebook. I can definitely DM y'all that link. Just type a one in the chat if you want that link to join me on CAM. And uh, let's see, let's get that link before, you know, I got to make sure I know what I'm talking about before. <laughs> okay. Yes. Control C. And um, all right. So now I got the link in hand. So I'm waiting for somebody to, um, I'm just going to send Larry the link because I, I'm just assuming that, and by the way, happy Father's Day for all those that didn't hear me say it earlier. Um, let's see, Larry. I'm, I'm hoping that you're camera ready. I mean, I know, you know, being Father's Day and all that. And let's see if uh, Mayanna wants to step in the room. And let's see if, uh, Kim, did you want to come in, dear? Let's see if Owen wants to come in. And Kim... I think we are connected on faith. Yes, we are. Katie. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I'm getting everybody. I'm trying my best to get everybody. Okay, let me share the chat again. Sorry, I couldn't multitask and do that at the same time. Okay, so Larry, it, he realizes that I'm feeling lonely without my hashtag ologist. Tish isn't here right now, so Larry is filling in for Tish, and I'll let her know. Uh, you can put it on her invoice. Be big, mega chunky. <laughs> Hashtag big, mega chunky. <laughs> chumpy, LOL. Um, I heard a ting. I don't know where that ting is coming from. I guess Facebook. I'm not sure. Um, great tip on the text. Truth. The only thing that matters is if they can read it. Stop being artsy. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Richard, how are you? TubeBuddy offers thumbnail generator, but I think it's available for paid versions only. Oh, yeah, we have to go over to the TubeBuddy um, features page to see if it's under the one for the free, because I don't remember what's free or not. Thanks, but I'm not camera ready right now. Okay. Oh, Christy, hi, would you like to come in? Katie, looking at Clipping Magic site now, if remembering right, the trial lets you download a small number of images. Yeah, Katie, um, it's been so long since I had the trial. I don't know if they just do it for, if it's based on a num uh, number of images or the amount of time. Because when I first joined, it was free. In fact, it was still free for everybody. So, <laughs> okay. So, you know, that's how these apps roll. Okay. And that's what they do. They get you hooked and I'm actually hooked on clipping magic. And I realized I'm already using Photoshop, right? I need to learn how to do that in Photoshop and then I won't need clipping magic, but that's okay. Cause I'm loyal. Just like you guys are loyal to me. And I so appreciate you. And thank you so very much for being so loyal. So is nobody coming in here with me? All right, let's make sure I got all the, um, I cover everything that I wanted to cover as far as the YouTube thumbnails are concerned. And um, let's take, you know what we can do? Let's go over to YouTube and take a look at some of the big YouTubers thumbnails. And we're gonna start off with my friend since he's here. 
Owen. And let's take a look at Owen's thumbnails. He does a great job on his thumbnails. All right, here we go. Uh, let me get the screen share going. All right. So here we go. This the first one that comes up is one with Owen and Nick. And I was going to think about doing Nick. Oh yeah. There's another thing that Owen is doing in this particular one, even though this is a two year old video. I love it. When you search for Owen, what do you get? Who was Owen Hemsath? He also uses something that's called a stroke in Photoshop. It's called a stroke and that stroke you know, makes the text stand out. I used it a little bit on the example I showed you guys in uh, when, on the thumbnail that I was creating here. I had a little black stroke around the type, but what he's doing in this particular one, and even in the one with Nick Nimmin as well, he's using a really thick stroke. And I think he's also using a drop shadow in this one as well. So then here's one that he did a video for two buddy and it's thumbnail science. Now you didn't, he didn't need a stroke because it's plain black background with the white text. So see, here's another treatment of the thumbnail layout. Okay. So let's, let's just go. Nick Nimmin has some of the most intriguing thumbnails. So let's take a look at his. Okay, so Nick has a formula. You see, can you guys tell he's using a template as well? Okay, Nick is absolutely crushing it, right? And you guys see he's using a template. Now, you know, I follow a lot of what Nick says, but I got to let you know, I was using template a long time before I even knew Nick. <laughs> oh, here comes my hashtagologist. Tish is here. Yay. Oh, Cynthia said, great tutorial. Thanks. Hey there, Eileen Fun. Hashtag Eileen Fun. I'm so sorry I missed the majority of this. I did, uh, right? I've been doing well today and my iPhone was on vibrate and I missed the alert. Hi to you. Oh, yes. Hey, Tish. And happy Father's Day to whoever is your, that you're sending happy Father's Day wishes out to. So, yeah. For YouTube thumbnails, Tish, I know you, these, some of these same, techniques that I discuss are also really great for your Instagram images and for your um, Facebook images. I know Tish posts a lot of images on Facebook and I know she helps out some of her friends with images. So similar principles, of course, you have a little bit more um, leeway to be more creative on other platforms, but Still, always keep in mind, having that font that can be easily read, having that contrast. I didn't talk that much about contrast. Having that contrast with the background, the color of the background with the font color, or you use that stroke and also whatever, um, like for me, I always have my face on the videos. So I keep in mind the color of whatever top I'm wearing. And I forgot to mention that too. I like, as a woman, I like to wear solid colors. And if you ever get your hands in my closet, you'll see, oh, hey, there's daddy, daddy uh, Owen. Yeah, It's good to see. Yeah, totally. We're doing the <laughs> Father's Day uh, breakfast thing, but when you know when you get uh, uh, an invite from Eileen, you don't uh, you don't turn it down. <laughs> well, it's just Eileen, but thanks, Owen. I'm so no, glad I you. Know. I'm, I'm goofing off. I'm going back to when we first met on. Oh, on right. I was calling you Eileen for like three weeks. Yeah, see, Owen, he is because you know, guys, we actually met in person. And so we was able to like actually like hug it up at Social Media Marketing World. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. And Eileen, I was watching your content today and it's it's really just, I mean, everyone should be paying really close attention to the thumbnail situation because YouTube is a thumbnail environment. That's what it is. There, no one watches your video without first seeing your thumbnail. And just last night, you know, my wife is my business partner. And just last night, I was showing her how to use 
uh, how to create a good thumbnail. And she was doing all this artsy text, you know, <laughs> and, and I couldn't read it. And she goes, yeah, but this is the same text we use on the website. And we, you know, we went through that training. It's like, none of that matters. You have got to stand out. Your thumbnails need to make a promise and they need to stand out and rise above the noise. So to hear you talking about that today, I think is pivotal and it's exciting to watch you grow and become one of the leaders in the YouTube education space. Oh, oh, and that just warms my heart. Thank you so much. Now you just make sure she's subscribed to my channel. Am I not subscribed? <laughs> no, I'm talking about your wife. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because <laughs> she needs right. to get some, because, you know, sometimes when you hear from somebody else, then that's when you, it, it may click. It, not that she's not listening to you, but she may say, oh, okay, now the way Eileen said it, it kind of yes. makes sense because, yeah, I no, talked about the you're hair. You're exactly right. You're right? Exactly I talked right. about the hair thing and all that stuff, so I know she probably can relate to me. <laughs> That's right. Well, it's the, on beauty alone, on beauty alone. Said, well, you know, you and Eileen said almost the same thing, except for uh, Eileen's a lot prettier when she says it. Oh. <laughs> Oh. So I got a jet. They got a strawberry waffle breakfast for me today. Oh. My, own, uh, my own recipe they made for me. So I'm in a jet, but I wanted to uh, just jump on and give you a big air five for what you're doing out there on a Sunday morning. Guys, listen to Eileen. She knows what she's doing. She's a major player in this space. And I'm just so proud of, uh, of how you're engaging your audience. So rock on. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that's so, uh, that means so much to me, Owen. And have we'll a wonderful Father's Day, honey. I will. We'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. All right. I know the chat is blowing up now. Y'all saw the YouTube guru here with me. So let's see what you guys are over here saying. And it's just oh, oh yeah, my parents have passed. Too. Tish said her parents have passed. So have mine. Tish, mom and dad are both gone. And yeah, thought about my dad today. Of course, first thing when I woke up this morning. And Katie said, Eileen, I'll go take a look at Two Buddy now. Three channel member, two star, one pro. Discovered it from Daryl's video on. 2015 with a co-founder. Okay. All right. So, but if you want to still use my link, Katie, it's EileenSmith.com slash two buddy. But I know Daryl, he's maybe, you may be already cookied for Daryl. <laughs> and Christy Lambie Poo is saying amen to that, Owen. And Jan knows Owen. And Tish is saying Eileen is the best in YouTube. We do love her all. Oh, Tish, you're so sweet. Thank you, my dear. Okay, so um, oh, and Owen's still there. I don't think he realizes because he was on his phone. So, so you're seeing his snap. So, if anybody wants to follow Owen on Snapchat, let me make that bigger. You can follow him. There's his snap code. <laughs> he doesn't realize that he's still there. That's okay. So, guys, yeah. YouTube thumbnails, you heard it from Owen as well as from myself. The thumbnails are just, it's a thumbnail environment. I love the way he said that because we kind of tend to always think about Google and, you know, of course, YouTube's owned by Google and all, but really you go to YouTube and, and our potential viewers go to YouTube searching differently than they do when they're looking for a uh, resolution to something on Google. And a lot of times they're searching for things on YouTube. They also want a little entertainment with it as well. They don't want just the cold hard facts, right? So that's a wonderful thing about video. And of course, live video. This is why I love doing these live streams because you just never know what's going to happen. Who's going to pop in. And um, Walter said his parents are passed away as well. And Katie says, looking at the two buddy pricing page, what does someone want to know uh, about the thumbnail? Two, Larry said that two buddy has a thumbnail generator and he didn't know if it was on the free plan or not, Katie. Now I used the YouTube uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the TubeBuddy thumbnail generator before. Of course, it does not do the removing of the background thing that I showed you guys on Clipping Magic, but you could do that. 
Mm -hmm. um, somebody just went by on a motorbike. You could do that piece with clipping magic and then still upload it into the two buddy thumbnail generator. And even if you're not to the point where you want to even use a Photoshop or the two buddy generator, use pick monkey, the pick monkey free tool. And they have templates in there as well. They may not have a YouTube thumbnail template, but then, and that's not on a free plan. So I take that back about templates. <laughs> you can, let's just show pick monkey. Gee whiz. Actually, I prefer pick monkey over Canva. However, I do have the pay version of pick monkey because I'll tell you why. And you're thinking, well, why do you have the paid version? Everybody has a free, why, why, why do you have to have the paid one? Well, because I, when I like stuff, I, I like to have what I like. Okay, so let's, let's do a little screen share here on PicMonkey. And we're just going to pretend that, oh, I know what I'll do. I will, okay. Pick Monkey, you have the choice of uploading something from your computer. And because, like I said, I have the paid version, I also can have something called my hub. So this lets me save images in the cloud on Pick Monkey, and I can access them from my phone as well. I could choose an image from Facebook, or they have some samples in here that I could use. Also, I can just start a design. And this is what you guys would do, right? You start a design and you want to use a custom size, right? So remember I told you before, it's 1280 by 720. Okay. So there you start off with a blank canvas. So let, let's go ahead and pretend that we're actually going to make this thumbnail here. All right. So let's give it some color. Uh, and we're going to make it, I don't know why I picked purple, but I did. So there. Now, remember, I have all my cutouts already over on my computer. So here, I'll just say uh, overlay, and I'll add my own overlay. So I'm going to try to stick to only the free things here on PicMonkey, okay? All right, so there's my overlay. Right, move it over, add a text layer, and we like to have those chunky texts, right? So I'll just use this one. It's probably not the one I would use, but just to uh, show you guys how it will work. I say YouTube thumbnail tutorial, right? Move it over. Now I probably would use the YouTube logo, but like I said, we're just showing you how you actually use PicMonkey. And I would center that. And uh, they do have the effects, but notice where the crown is. That means that's only for um, people who have the paid version and I want to stick to the free version. So here's what I would do. If I only had the free version, I would take this YouTube thumbnail tutorial and then I would duplicate it, right? Duplicate, but this one, I'll make the text white. Okay. And then I'll just put it ever so slightly off. So now it actually looks like it actually looks like it is got the stroke around it. It gave it some depth so that it stands out more. Of course, I would move myself, you know, move myself down. Like I said, I probably would use the YouTube um, logo instead of just actually writing the YouTube. But anyway, at least I gave you guys an alternative now. I feel better because I know there's somebody out there saying, I don't have money for clipping magic. I don't have money for Photoshop. And I don't, 
They probably don't even have a phone. I don't even know where they're going to get the picture of themselves. <laughs> just kidding. I know y'all got phones. So I just wanted to give you another alternative. I don't want you to think that you have to have Photoshop or some expensive software in order to do this. And so, okay, we are, before I go to Tish, you know, my eye went right to your hashtag. Okay. Here, Walter said um, his parents passed and then look, okay. Katie was looking at the two buddy pricing and what's the 411 TV Eileen is a leader and a go-to professional in the live video space met Eileen and others back in the blab days yay thank you so very much for those kind kind words and Yankees outdoor adventures hi he made it yay we're talking about thumbnails Yankee yeah your thumbnails you may want to follow some of the tips that I shared go back and watch from the beginning I can't remember that your thumbnails I think they were okay I'm pretty sure they were okay but hey it's always good to iterate and also to try different things if you find that you're not getting that many clicks on your you may want to switch up and do a different style okay um katie says the limited thumbnail access with the free and so they probably only let you do certain amount uh per month with the free plan so it is available in the tube buddy so it's eileensmith.com slash tube buddy you can get that free chrome extension and Katie says she doesn't mind paying. First must have tool for any new creator. Absolutely. Tish, you got my hashtagologist. Hashtag Eileen is correct on that. So awesome, the color thumbnail. Thank you, Tish. Oh my gosh, how funny. I just realized we were in Eileen YouTube church today. Amen, sister. <laughs> oh, and Yankees, happy Father's Day. And uh, can to post my partner, link later okay for anybody interested can make the same background with canva um now walter let me see canva you can do it with canva one of the things that i don't like about canva is um i just find it tr i i found it buggy i and you know i know that lots and lots of people love canva so I'm not going to try to say, don't use Canva. If Canva works for you and you feel that it works smoothly for you, it could be user error on my end. And that's, that's my point here. That's why I showed you guys clipping magic. I'm not trying to convince you guys to go out and get clipping magic. I'm saying use what you're comfortable with. Find the tool that you feel comfortable with using. I'm just trying to really stress to you the key concepts, all right, of making the thumbnail, using your image, if possible, those eyes trying to connect. And the reason why you want to use an image, and if it's not your own image, you can use a stock image, but you just want to keep it appropriate, right? But something about the eye contact that draws people in, that makes them want to click on your thumbnail versus all of your competitors. Now I do see some other successful folks out there that have that, that have uh, thumbnails that don't have images on it and they're still successful. So you may want to do a little testing. I have one video that has a ton of views and there's, I don't have my face on the video, but my hand is in the video. I'm actually holding my phone and oh, so I'm not going to change it. Right. <laughs> it's, it has hundreds of hundred, over a hundred thousand views on it. So I'm not going to change that video because Hey, if it works, it works, you know, but this is what you want to start off with. If, especially if you're finding that you're not getting that much traction with your videos, try some of these tweaks to see if you get improvement on your engagement and as well as your, your views. Okay. So, um, Tish is saying to, you know, Lord bless you today, Walter and Walter's thanking him. 
Walter has the pay version of Canva. So if you have the pay version of Canva, that's a big advantage. Yes. I already had the pay version of PicMonkey before Canva even came out. So I, I never wanted to pay for Canva. Plus, I have Photoshop. <laughs> Eileen, you are a real treasure. I have been using PicMonkey for at least five years and I learned something new today. Thanks. Yay. This is what I'm here for, guys. I have all this knowledge in my head and sometimes it just comes out even accidentally. And I wasn't even really thinking of doing a PicMonkey little tutorial today, but there you have it. And Kim says, always great to learn and hear about new ways of doing things. Canva for design templates, Katie's saying. PicMonkey for photo editing. TubeBuddy for the YouTube channel management and more. Absolutely. And another thing that Katie said that I don't want to go unnoticed. You know, and I showed you guys some free alternatives because I know it's important, especially when you're first starting out. You don't want to just keep throwing your money at things. However, once you've decided what your platform is and how you want to create content, don't be afraid to invest. If you want your YouTube channel to thrive, and if you want to have a better understanding of the platform, you need to get to buddy. Really start with the free version, but as soon as you can, upgrade that to buddy i've tried tons of youtube tools guys but the only one that i strongly urge anyone to actually pay for is going to be to buddy now i use vidiq as well and vidiq is a nice tool but i don't really recommend that folks make an investment in it now i also have a tutorial for a tool called morning fame morning fame is a good tool and right now it's free and i believe oh let me give you the link for morning fame it's free right now and i don't know that they're even plan on monetizing it but it gives you totally different information and you will find it too buddy so here's my link for morning fame it's eileen dot link slash morning fame so sign up for that one too. Then that one will give you like daily alerts uh, of your progress. Well, not daily alerts. It gives you weekly alerts and it also will give you a 24 hour recap of your latest video. So, yeah. but getting back to what I was saying about what Katie said, don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Just be careful. You don't want to just buy every tool. And then one day you look and you're like, I got 18 tools and I'm only using two of them. So you don't want to just go on a tear and just tools are not going to make your content, but you have to start with great content. Okay. I want to make sure I'm clear about that, but there's certain tools that is like that tool is a gem. Like for example, if you're really going to start using social media and you really want to get a handle on, yes, I know I need to schedule some posts. You're going to want to look at Buffer or Hootsuite. Those are the two tools. I use them both. Okay. But these are tools that are like diamonds. They're like gems. You could pick one of those two. All right. Once you get more advanced or once if you start um, hiring teams. I mean, you know, once you start getting big time, then you can start looking at some of those other tools. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's get, let's see what the chat is saying over here. Cause I feel like I was a little bit on my uh, pulpit for a minute there. <laughs> uh, yes. Paid Canva free pick monkey. And now we got another hashtag from Tish. Eileen is a gem. Even Kim is agreeing and she's seconding. Katie's seconding that new one for me. We'll be watching tutorial post stream. Okay, great guys. <laughs> this has been so much fun. Okay. Here's what I want you guys to do next weekend. I know that I will not be going live on Sunday because my daughter is having a boot camp and she wants for real estate and so she wants me to help her out so i'll be doing that on sunday so more than likely on saturday especially since next saturday super cute saturday so i want y'all to be camera ready so when i send out those invites after i finish my topic next week i want y'all to be 
ready to jump in on Cam. I mean, you know, you saw what Owen did. He took out from time from his father's day uh, strawberry pancakes. <laughs> uh, okay, she has buffer and learning who sweet. Okay, Katie, I have tutorials on both of those things, and I have uh, blog posts about who sweet. And I probably am overdue for another updated tutorial about Hootsuite. Um, I can tell you right now, Hootsuite has apps and they also have a YouTube app. Let's just do that really quickly since Katie is here and she is, and this is on the free because I only have free Hootsuite. So let me just show you guys really quickly because we're talking about tools and we're talking about how to you know, build up a platform, how to make your content better. And uh, certain tools I've just come out and endorsed today, right? And Hootsuite is one of them. So here's Hootsuite. Here's my Hootsuite dashboard. I don't use Hootsuite as much for scheduling. I use it more for monitoring. So like right now, I know that even though this video is live, I haven't even pu hit publish but I have tools working for me in the background that my video is getting tweeted by folks, right? And I know that because in Hootsuite, I can monitor all of my mentions. So every time somebody tweets and has my handle, I can mind. So I have a column set up here for that. Okay. Well, we're not going to do a whole Hootsuite tutorial, but I do want to show you that they have these apps and one of the apps is for YouTube. And I don't know if it's working right now. I'm telling it to refresh the stream. Let's see if there's another one. Oh, they changed the uh, dashboard around. So let me see if I can remember where to find the app. Okay, there's the apps. App directory. Let's just type in YouTube. And they do have one that's $4.99 a month. Here's YouTube Analytics free. Oh, it says it's installed. I already have it somewhere. Are you sure you want to remove this app? Cancel that. That's the same one that wasn't behaving correctly. All right, here we go. Oh, I have to connect it. I'll do that. Real quick, I just want to see what it's going to give us. I mean, this is not going to be a tool that's going to replace your uh, tube buddy or anything like that. Okay, so here I can add a column that shows my videos. If I just want to come over here and take a quick look and say, oh, how many views did I get on this video? Uh, the one where I was with Blog8, I got 101 views. Okay, so Hootsuite is really cool for adding those apps and for monitoring different things on Twitter. So I don't want to, like I said, get into a whole Hootsuite tutorial, but because Katie's here and she said that she was trying to learn it, yeah, I wanted to give you a little bit of a primer. Okay, so cosign on the Eileen is a gem, a real treasure. All right, we got another hashtag going there. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to have a wonderful day. Be ready next Saturday. Okay, it won't be early because I have to go to hairdresser. So I'll uh, probably be around lunchtime, okay, or a little before. And um, you guys, if you have any questions or ideas of things that you want me to talk about here, let me give you the way to contact me. You can leave me a voicemail. Tish did it uh, a couple of weeks ago just to test it out and see how it works. And what you would do is you go to EileenSmith.com slash contact. And that will take you to my contact page. You can also consider becoming a patron over on Patreon. That's Patreon.com slash Eileen. So... With that, I'm going to close things out and just keep in mind, guys, that YouTube thumbnails are the window 
to your channel. It's your way of connecting with those potential viewers, those potential scribe, subscribers. When they see your thumbnail and they know it's relevant and to the topic that they're searching for on YouTube. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.